My first appointment this morning, I called her yesterday. Um, she told me she was super busy, couldn't meet today. You know, they're headed out of town this afternoon. Um, you know, and I, I just explained that I, I maybe make it over here once a month, but I can follow up with you next time. So she said, okay, that's fine. I hung up and then she actually called me back like an hour later, left me a voicemail, said, I talked to my daughter about it. She wants you to come over tomorrow morning. Can you get here between 7.30 and 8? I was like, sure. Um, so I got there this morning and I asked the question I've started asking in the beginning of all of my appointments now, which is, you know, obviously you guys want to need this and to help out with the mortgage. Um, you know, but did y'all have anyone pass away recently or anything that kind of led to, you know, led to this being something that was a priority for you? And, um, the daughter was there and the daughter goes into, um, I just see it right away. I just knew something happened. She, she teared up right away. Um, and started talking to me about how last year, um, her husband had passed away. Um, now the daughter's 45, her husband was 47 and, um, he worked in the oil field and that's kind of, um, Colorado, that's a well-paying job. You know, it's one of those six, multiple six figure type jobs, um, that he had, and they had a really nice house um, up in the mountains here, uh, about five, six hundred thousand dollars. Um, and her husband had all he had was some accidental coverage through work and like fifty thousand dollars. And what happened was he was out on the oil field. He fell um, and banged his lung basically, and got a blood clot in his lung. Um, got home from work that day, and then died while they were eating dinner, um, like right in front of his wife and the kids. Um, so what happened was she, she made, she makes decent money. She works for a funeral home here. She makes about five, six grand a month. Um, so she could have paid the mortgage, but she wasn't on the loan. So the lender wouldn't take her payments. She didn't have enough money to finance the house in her name. Um, but she could have kept paying the payments, but the lender wouldn't accept her payments. So they foreclosed within the house within 90 days because she couldn't come up with the money to refinance in her name for a $500,000 loan. That's quite a bit of money. So they took the house, so she and her three kids had to move out of the house, move in with her parents at 45 years old. Um, now she makes pretty decent money, so she was able to get a new house, kind of fix her credit up and everything. Um, but she said $50,000 didn't do anything for um, for her, really, compared to what she wished she would have had. She's like, I wish she would have had two, three million dollars worth of coverage. So um, that's why she wanted this to, to be such a priority for her parents. So went through everything with them, kind of figured out what we could do coverage wise for her parents. It's going to probably be about five, five or five or $600 a month. I'm meeting back with them on Sunday. Um, because she, the parents make about $2,000 a month total. So they can't swing that bill on their own. So they're going to figure out how to manage the, uh, the insurance payment with her and her brothers. They're all going to split it. They're going to figure out how to pay for it. And I'm going to meet with them all on Sunday before I head home. Um, but then I asked her at the end, I was like, you know, do you, did you buy life insurance yet? And then she's, she just looked like she went white and she was like, oh my God, I can't believe after what happened to my husband, I haven't bought any life insurance yet. And I have a new mortgage. I don't know what I was thinking. So I ended up writing her a policy for about $360 a month, um, HMS policy. And she couldn't, she's thanking me up and down, gave me a big hug, was crying the whole time. So, um, I don't know. I mean, it's just cool to see, you know, how much we can really help people. Um, you know, hopefully you guys can use that story in the future. I'm, I'm also just really happy to help that family out because they, you know, they valued insurance so much after, you know, watching the husband who made $200,000 a year die with only $50,000 of coverage and lose a house that they loved. So.